Alright guys, here we are back with something sinister, playing Resident Evil 5 on Profesh Mod. Oh my god, why is it Profesh? I mean, hold on, if you watched the last video, Shava was being an absolute dingus. Just Dingosity! That's all that could- Okay, there's many very foul words I could use to describe how stupid Shovel was being, but... No, sell it. Shovel was being so dumb, I just killed her. I was like, Shava, what the fuck are you doing? And... Anyway. Alright. Let's see. Is there any weapon I could use that would help me kill dogs? Cause those dogs are getting me. like hold on. Let's try let's try using the jailbreaker because the jailbreaker spreads out in an arc instead of that. So let's see if that'll be any good against the fucking dog. So I don't end up getting my ass chewed off like I don't even know if you can call them dogs because their head's split in half, but we'll just we'll just say they're dogs for now. But I don't believe that they're dogs. They're Fucked up abominations. Okay, here we are. Shava, do you know where the mines are? No. The Don't follow Shava. She's retarded. Ooh. Who is all this marijuana around here? She doesn't know shit. She can't do shit. It's like, the only reason I gave her a gun is because she was sucking with the bow and arrow. I mean, she was doing decent with the bow and arrow. But, man. She needs a gun now. Alright, hold on. I hate these fucking dogs. Get out of here! Don't you, don't you, don't you, no, don't, dog! Oh. And there's, where does that one dog, I'm, I'm dead. Where does that one dog from behind come from? It's like, because you would assume that Shava would, you know, cover the rear and not... Right. Hold on, let's solve this problem gonna use proximity mines because if that dog comes from behind me his ass exploded okay so jailbreaker didn't do shit for me let's see let's see how the dog fares against a landmine huh let's 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 see that i want to see this dog get past a fucking landmine no i'm not following you you're a dingus okay so there's this dog that magically appears out of shava's incompetent bunghole so we're just gonna use these, alright. So there's a dog that's gonna come from behind. So I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm gonna leave that there. So if the dog comes from behind, it's gonna get its ass blown up. Because I'm sick and tired of this dog coming from behind me and killing me. Alright, you're both- Where? Are you fucking serious? And I'm dead. How did the dog get around the fucking landmine? And she's just standing there. It's like, I have to pay attention to the things in front of me, but Shava, what does Shava do? She doesn't even cover the back. She can't even do that. It's like, what am I supposed to do on single player? It's not possible to play this on single player, on professional, because Shava is just so retarded. It's like, okay, hold on, let's see. Because in Resident Evil, in the fifth game, you can't turn very fast because you're s you have to go stationary before you shoot. Let's see, hold on. Options. Do we have game settings? I don't give a shit. Controller settings. Do we have sensitivity? Screen settings? Brightness? No, I can't change the sensitivity so I can turn the fuck around faster. That'd be wonderful. But no, of course, it doesn't exist. But you have to stand in place. Aim your gun, and then turn around. And then to turn around faster, you do this, but you turn around slow as fuck. And it's one hit to die. And Shava just sits there. My question is, why does the AI always go for me? Why don't they go for Shava? She's retarded. Alright, where does this dog come from? Right there! That Shava, it's right in front of you. And what is she doing? She's fucking taking her time to aim, watching me die! What a fucking dumbass! 
She's like, oh, hold on. I got to aim. Oh, you're dead. Well, shit. Let me just scream your name because I feel guilty. Chris! No! It's stupid. So basically, there's a dog that comes from behind. There's dumbass Shava who ain't worth shit. I might as well just like play this game without her. The only thing she's good for is occasionally healing me. She doesn't even do that sometimes. Okay, one dog down, where's the- Fuck! Okay, where did that dog- Alright, save- What the fuck? And they- they avoided shovel like a plague! They didn't even touch her! Oh my god! This is just fucking bullshit! Absolute fucking bullshit! There's like- There is no way to beat this right now! I can't do anything! Everything's a one-hit kill, and my partner, which is an essential key point of the game to help me, is retarded! Alright, fuck this. We're running all the way back here so I can get a good shot at these dogs before they tear my ass a new hole. Fuck all of you, little furry fucking creatures. I like dogs, but these dogs need to burn in the eternal hellfires of damnation. That's even, that's too good for them, because these things are just annoying. But you! Words cannot describe the punishment you deserve- Oh my god, dog, no. Alright, I cannot describe the punishment Shova deserves- Oh, what? Alright. Are you serious? Are you ser- Oh my god. A dog did not get me. And even worse, it's like, the dogs, that's even cheaper. When you turn that corner, you're just thinking, okay, there's gonna be some dogs. No, they come out from fucking behind you. Oh my god. But the punishment for Shava, words cannot describe the punishment for Shava. Me shooting a rocket straight up her butthole is too good. Alright, there are things that will not be said on YouTube that need to happen to Shava. Alright, that is my decree, and it should happen, because Shava's AI was programmed by a dumbass. I'm gonna keep firing this until you're all dead. I don't even give a shit. Accuracy can go fuck itself. I just want you dead. Alright, so now I have to make sure to watch out for the guy up there who just appears out of nowhere. It's like, and Shava spawns these dogs because she ran over there. Where do you come from? It's like, not only do I have to worry about the dogs, I have to worry- Where- What are you- Shava! Oh my god! Why is her AI so fucking retarded right here? What- What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I'm not dying because I'm dying from actual things. I'm dying to Shava's retardedness. Shava, do you know where the mines are? Alright. I'm considering skipping this level because it's basically impossible on single player. Just because Shove is too damn stupid. It's like, I would love to actually get through the level, but I just keep dying at this, this fucking entrapment part. Where I'm stuck between two train cars, a shit ton of dogs, a retard, and some guys with arrows. Which I don't even know where they come from. They just appear. It's like, you walk over here, and then a dog jumps down right there um let's see and it's not dead die die where is mr dingus one oh hey shut they're actually attacking shovel that's the place all right fuck this i'm running all the way over here because i don't I'm, I'm not dealing with this shit oh thank you for actually yup come on dial you mother oh come on you dogs if I die right here, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be so pissed. Hi. Fuck you. God. Strategic Retreat is the name of the game. Dealing with Shova's retardedness. I'm not even gonna try, but Shova's pretty fucking retarded. Well, I need health. No, you know what you owe me? You owe me, you should just die right now. That would make my day. That would make my fucking day. If you just died, and I keep playing the game without you. That'd make my fucking day. Yeah, shoot me. Oh, oh no! 
Flying sirs! Die, you motherfucker. Alright. Finally, after so much pain and agony, we're done with this shit. My god. Who say what? I hear like zombies, but I don't see like zombies. Where am I going? Oh, wait, wait, what's this? Jewel Beetle. Alright then. Who keeps leaving all this fucking treasure around? It's like, oh, there's treasure here. Oh, we yeah, are treasure. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh. Alright. Once I go up here, I'm probably just gonna get fucking impaled with arrows. Where's oh, that guy? Alright, I need to. Oh, I can't even aim at him. I don't want to go up there and just die because this thing. Alright, hold. Move, you dumbass. I don't feel like. Yeah, thank you. Because the minute I climb up this ladder, he's just gonna shoot an arrow at me and I'll inevitably just die from one hit. So, <laughs> there's no point in climbing up there until that guy's dead. And shove a. Just burn. Burn, motherfucker. Burn, motherfucker. Oh, hey, we got. C4, which probably should have damaged me, but why the fuck does it matter? I know there's C4 down there, so. Oopsie. Wait. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. If I'm firing rockets at C4, shouldn't it explode? You know? Like, wouldn't that make sense? And honestly, how does this minecart even, like, move? There's no forward propulsion. You just jump onto it, and it's like the minecart just decides to move. Wait, what the? Oh, I thought it was just. The camera just jumped, like, it just dipped really low, it confused me, but... Anyway, but, the minecart has no forward propulsion, you just jumped onto it. It's like, oh, okay, minecart, do your tang, but, whatever. Oh, here's a, if I remember correctly, this is the most enjoyable part of the game. <laughs> Sarcasm, not. Because Resident Evil 5 was the first Resident Evil to have co-op in it, they figured they'd have some co-op stuff, which is cool if you're playing with a friend, but if you're playing with Shava, it's just a fucking pain in the ass. Now, at this part, you're in a cave, and you can't see jack diddly shit, so there's a lantern here. So, Shava has to light the way, and what she does is she basically keeps the light for you so you can see what the fuck you're doing. But half the time, she's just retarded. So, let's see if I can see what zombies... There should be zombies ahead. And half the time, she puts the light, like, directly behind your ass. So your shadow just gets in the way, and then you can't see what the fuck you're doing. So, there isn't a whole lot of point. But then if you take the lantern, she doesn't do jack diddly shit either. So I guess it's better than nothing. What is that? Some marijuana down there? What did you pick up, by the way? Oh, you picked up marijuana. Okay, let's go. Uh, I mean... It was a good co-op idea, but it's just dumb because... A AI for Shava is just... Negative... Nine... Billion and three... Ugh! Sup? Oh, that, that's not supposed to happen. Yeah, generally when you have an erection out of your face, you might want to consult your doctor or stop taking Viagra. Oh, no! Wait! Oh, shit. Look at him. Look at him! He's got zombie dance fever! Oh, uh, what is with these fucking... Oh, there's a shiny thing up there, and we've got fucking zombie dance fever. Uh, no. Guess what? It's not Thriller. It's Resident Evil 5. Nope, 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 nope. Just so much nope, nope, nope. This is mine. Bitch, I can't see shit. Thank you. Isn't there... Yeah. Hi. Dead. Sup. Uh, stop with the freaking... Oh shit, what the hell? He just rolled. The freaking Viagra. Oh my god. What is with these people and having head boners? Head boners are scary. I'm gonna have nightmares. God damn it, Capcom. Why'd you have to implement penises into zombies? 
And more or less, generally, I think Capcom pushes the envelope on zombies. When the first zombie was invented, it was just a thing that moans and groans and walks around and bites you. And you get bitten, you turn into a zombie. Well, in modern day games and or movies, the zombies are like fucking weird they have things come out of them they grow appendages they they crawl they run zombies aren't supposed to run they could never do that i guess it was to make them scarier but still it's like zombie Ooh, a blue thing uh i got this I just, bam i got it all right so, uh, oh there's two of them and they're both dead Ha! Ah, you're dead! Ah, ah, oh, there's a third one. Hey, buddy. Ah! Oh, the fucking head boners! Get out of here! God! So gross. I'd rather just have them run around with their heads cut off. It's creepy, but... Uh, I can't see. You're in the way. Okay, I just got them on the last second. It's like, woman, shine the light! Ah, it's so dark down here. I can't see what the fuck's going on. I ate you, Rumba. Uh, go on, let's go. A, uh, are you kidding me? Oh, there's a zombie, isn't there? I, wait, is there? Shine the light! Oh my god, you take forever in a fucking day. God damn, woman. Look at him. He's got zombie dance fever. Well, guess what? You can dance without your fucking face. I like how you just... Yeah, you know, generally when you get shot in the face with, uh, a desert eagle, you don't just, like, you don't just, he looks so, I mean, okay, he didn't have a face, but his body action looks so stunned, like, oh shit, my face just got blown off, let me slowly fall backwards and die. No, it's more like, uh, uh, and you just fall over and roll and die. Again, I mentioned in one of the other videos, this game has no ragdoll physics. But, you know, it's, it's, it's okay dying animation. There's another fun, uh, thing. She no wait. I don't know if this is a good idea, because I'm pretty sure zombies come, and then you're gonna kill Shova. Basically, what you have to do here is this another co-op thing. Shova opens this gate, it's slow as fuck. But, you have to open this gate for her. Well... It's like, look how fast the gate's opening. She opened it so slow, and I'm just like, oh yeah. And then, a shit fuck ton of zombies show up. Okay, woman, strategic retreat. We're going this way. I can't... Wait, what? <laughs> ah, let me die on top! Ah, hey, 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 woman, suck my dick. Your partner died? Um, can I get a message that says, you both died? Because that's what happened. She got, for some reason, Shova died first, and then I just died. It's like, oh, okay, but I died on top of her. I like how my, my knee was able to move her entire body just by it touching her head. You know, that makes sense, right? I have an idea. Let's wear the melee. Yeah, there's two vests in this game. The bulletproof vest and the melee vest, which reduce damage, but I'm pretty sure on professional, it's probably not worth shit. It's probably gonna do absolutely nothing. And it's the show me. It's showing me this again. Uh, let's back the fuck up. Okay, let's back the fuck up because I'm pretty sure you're gonna get killed right away. I'm just gonna let the zombies come to us, or something, you know. Hey, buddy! Bam. Oh, we got Arrow Man. Just got shot in the dick. Shot in the... I think that was his dick. Shot in the arm. Got a shovel. Yup. It's like, what did they do to get these weapons? Raid a Home Depot? Oh, except for the axes. I mean, you probably they probably made the axes, but a lot of these are like home... It's like, or, okay, or the kookeries. Oh, shit. How does it... What are you doing? Oh my god! She like, the delay! She, there was like this big ass delay in there where she's just standing there just staring in the same direction just going, Oh, you're dying? That's nice. Uh, let me just 
stand here and do nothing while you die, you know. Oh, wait. I'll actually do something for once. That's a first. What's he doing up there? Just standing? Okay. Hey, buddy. Shot in the dick. No dick for you. No. All right, let's take care of these arrow guys. It's my sniper rifle. It just fires large bullets that explode, all right? I'm not a noob. I just like big weapons. God, where's this other guy? Is that all of them? Really? I'm cool with that. Let's go. We did it. We did it, bitch. Come on. Oh, that's the way to go. Then it but Skulls. I like how one bullet hitting one skull made all the skulls move. What is the point? Why would I want to climb up on this? It just makes me a target. It's like, oh, let me get to higher ground. Well, the enemies have higher ground, so they can shoot me easier. That's a great idea. Let's just program this shit in for no reason. Yup. Makes perfect sense to me. Anyway, where are we going? We're going up. Up, 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 and away, Chris Redfield style. What is with all this Mary Jane around this place? Okay. It's like these zombies. You know, maybe we're not in Africa. Maybe we're in Jamaica. Or maybe these zombies aren't zombies. They just happen to be superhuman test experiments that also happen to be part of a drug cartel that are trying to sell all these herbs or herbs. You know, some people say herbs or I say herbs, but whatever. I'm trying to sell all these Mary Jane herbs to people, you know? The herby herbs. Yeah, maybe we we'll, maybe we're maybe we're just getting in on this and they don't want us here. I mean I wouldn't want someone to just Oh my god, with the fucking boners! Ugh, I wouldn't want someone to get in on my drug business to stop me from selling drugs if I'm making a decent profit. All these zombies gotta make a living. They gotta afford their Home Depot tools somehow. You know, rusty shovels aren't cheap. That The process of a shovel becoming rusty takes time. It's expensive. <laughs> He's like... Oh, I can't shoot through the wall? I oh, got I... Got him on the ropes. Uh, I have to move into firing range. Got him. Ah, that wall that made me not shoot you. Killed... It protected me. Yes, it protected me. Good idea. Shiver. We finally did it. We finally made it through the mine because you stopped... Well, actually, no. You didn't stop being retarded. I just had a... St Wait, why is... Whatever. You know, she's just standing there like a dingus. Fine by me, but whatever. Whatever! Doo-ba-doo. Hey, -doo. I did it. Let's see. What, what do we got? What do we got? We got... Stairs. Okay! Let's do this shit. Oh, lay cutscene. And I have lay shitty pistol again! Alright, let's do it. Come on, woman, open the door. Ah! Freeze. Oh, shit. Again. Captain Obvious. You're just like all the other pieces of scum terrorists. Oh, I'm not like them. I'm a businessman with skin. Then why do you sound like a cocaine addict? How about you drop yours? Right. That ma that would make that would make sense. You seem like a jumpy cocaine addict. What was that tear gas? Bird mask lady to the rescue. All right then. Wait. They just dropped out of what was that? Two stories or something? Cause this was like, yeah, it was a two stories. So they just jumped out a window, and Irving didn't break his legs. Like I could understand the mask lady, cause she seemed more like a not a cocaine addict. But apparently, Irving can just drop down ledges and be like, guess what? I can jump down ledges and not break my legs, and I can run away really fast. I bet you they're probably hiding, like, they're pressed up against the side of the house saying, Are they done looking yet? 
Are they done? Okay, they're looking at the map. Let's go walk away now. Alright. Chris is like, solemn nod. What? Delta team, Chris here. We located oh, we got more of the... Shava! I'll take cover. Wait. Is that... Is that a... Minigun? Why do the zombies have a minigun on a... Okay, it's on a truck, which is understandable. But these are zombies. They're... This is Africa. Where does zom... Where do just random villagers just have the money to get miniguns? I can understand them raiding the African Home Depot for rusty shovels and pitchforks and... You know, pick... Oh, shit. No, no, no. How did you miss? Dingus. Da Dingus Snoopingus. Anyway, but... You know, I can understand them raiding Home Depot for rusty shovels, etc. And that kind of shit. But, oh, shit. Shava! Thanks for doing absolutely fucking nothing. And why is the screen shaking to fuck? It's like, oh, you died. Let's have the screen hump the ground for good measure. Okie dokie, Mr. Screen. But how do the zombies, like, just the, the random villagers, what? They just be like, oh, you know, unless this Home Depot in Africa happens to be the most badass thing ever, I guess Chainsaw Man happened to get his chainsaw next to the minigun aisle. You know? He's like, oh, you know, oh, there's a minigun aisle in the Home Depot, you know, next to the rusty shovels, the fiery arrows, and the... You know what, fuck this joke. <laughs> I'm done. And... Why do the zombies always go for the minigun? Like, also, how would zombies know how to operate a minigun? Okay, they're zombies. Zombies don't, they're not smart, they're zombies. It's like, when I think of zombie, I think of moan, groan, and stupid, not, uh, you want to operate minigun? Uh, okay. I would never think, like, I'm pretty sure the man, wait, what, hold on. What are those guys doing out there? They're just all, really? 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 You're doing zombie dance fever? Oh my god! Kill it with fire! And I destroyed a- <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the top of that house just went- It's like, boom, boom, and what? That guy's just sit- He's just standing up there? Are you actually killing someone? Oh my god! You did something! Oh, thank you. And then that guy's just sitting up there. It's like a sniper rifle with explosive rounds that fly really slowly. It's just a new way to say 50 caliper in RPG. You know, whatever. Let's just go. All right, we did it. Let's go. We have to save the day. Ugh! Goddamn doors. Come on, Shava. Let's go. Them their miniguns. Nobody likes them. Well, I don't like them. Well, I like them if I'm using them, but I don't like them if the zombies are using them because the zombies shouldn't be allowed to use miniguns because they're zombies and zombies don't use guns because they just want to bite you. And well, that's that's pretty much it. They just want to bite you. I mean. If I was a zombie, I'm pretty sure biting someone would be on the top of my list. Because isn't that how zombies work? They bite people to turn more people into zombies? I mean, I guess in this game, they shove weird infectious parasites down someone's gullet. I mean, that works too, I suppose. They're just... They're, they're, too, they're too hip. They're too fly to just get with the pid pro quo. No, you. I am not separating from you because not only will you not do anything, you're probably just gonna stand on that ledge and do nothing. Now, something that's probably annoying about this part is the dynamite zombies. There's a lot of dynamite zombies. 
Basically, they're all up on the ledge, and they're just chucking dynamite at you, which they pull out of their bunghole, might I add, which they just get from nowhere. It's like, oh, okay. Don't you throw your dynamite at me. Get your dynamite out of here. No one wants it. He's like running at... I just shot him and he exploded. He's running at me with his dynamite. Why do these zombies keep dropping gold? I mean, I guess if they can afford... Oh shit, move, 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 move! I mean, I guess if they can keep gold in their pockets, I assume they could probably afford mini guns. You know, considering the amount... Do something! Okay, thank you. Get out of here! And somehow he magically just... I punched him so he appeared behind me. Stop throwing! I deflect... Yeah. I deflect solid projectiles with my bullets. My billets, son. There's treasure down here. Why are you jumping down here? I just want the thingy. Where is it? Oh, hey, buddy. And... 3, 2, 1, dead. Where's the, um... Did you get the thingy already? No, wait. Hold on. Oh, you killed him. Or not. No, shot him in the dick. Basically, uh, castration. Oh, shit. Don't touch me. No, there's zombies everywhere. And he's dead. Uh, get off my ledge. Or, or not. Okay, fine. No! Alright. He's dead. Oh, he actually did a backflip. That's cool. Anyway, since this uh, video is dawning on 30 fucking minutes, I'm gonna have to say sorry, folks. Sinister is out.